Hello guys, welcome out to another episode of the Sergio Rodriguez player career. Um, honestly, I I wasn't too impressed by our performance in the last game. I mean, it was enough to get us player of the month, apparently. But, I mean, getting beat to fucking... Ibar or whoever the fuck it was. Ain't so good. Also, who is my agent and why are they recommending Punjab alongside all these teams? And I've already chosen I want to go to Newcastle, so. I don't know. Very weird. Um... I think it's just too... Well, yeah, because that's all we've got to compete for now is the league because we've knocked out of everything. There's two league games. Another two league games. Another four league games. What the fuck? All of this is open because this would have been filled with cup games. Two more league... Four more league games. And our last game is on the second of June 2024 so let's, let's just calculate how many videos that is I'm going to include, so this one one uh, two three four five six yeah six maybe seven including this video left of season one Right. Now we do we're still oh <laughs> oh no. All square on the points. We cannot afford to drop points or we might be or our chances of winning the league might just go down the drain. Cameras trained on one man. Four goals last time out. Can he light up the stage again? Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's always exciting bringing you live coverage of La Liga high promotion. It's Alcorcón against Espanyol. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches oh, here today. Nice pass. They can't keep it. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supports in the front man. Oh, it's developing oh, nicely go. for them here. There it is. What the opening ball. goal of this match. And what a start they've made. This is the start. Well, well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop he of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. Arsenal. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Hell, whoa. And a tidy ball. Yeah. A terrific defending yeah, to stop them progressing. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Well, he's featured on the back pages of quite a few newspapers in recent days. The rumours are yeah, true. Wow. He's going to end his wonderful career at the end oh, of the season. Yeah, and what a loss for the out. club. That is bound to be, Stuart. Well, it's slightly surprising because he still looks a very good player. But he obviously knows his own body and thinks he can't perform at his best anymore. I think he's made a brave decision. Oh, Just the clearance Jesus. that was called for. Well, he'd love to have that header back. In fairness, he was being closely watched. Being pressed here, and well, they couldn't keep possession. Pass earlier. Pass when I click pass. Not ten years after. Possession lost. Sabres finds Plado. Good idea. 
Rodriguez. Oh my God. But couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? Oh, that was a chance to go two now. It should have been. And losing possession. Two now. Moving the ball forwards, how creative can they be? And across the touchline, so a throw in here. He's got to score! Rodriguez. Oh, incredible oh. save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Pumps clear. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, that save just about keeps them in this, but they have to pose more of a threat at the other end. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, oh. can they keep the ball and create? Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. have to <laughs> categorise that as a missed opportunity. That was a... That was an appalling shot. Perenia. Unable to keep the ball. Seriously. I run straight. They tackle. I run in zigzag. Zip that. A really good run. Why the fuck am I meant to run, eh? On my hands? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Perenia. Chance to run at them. Oh, big opportunity. Aguado. Still a chance. And mopping up defensively. Blocked. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. I'm hoping we can fully switch on in the second half because. And players waiting in the well, centre. We did get that goal the first time has been a bit now. The delivery the towards the back first. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, underway yeah, once more. And it's going it's... to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. That well is not where I... Mm. Eteki. And passing it through. That's where Can I he put it away? It. Ball is of loose. course he's fucking saved that. I wouldn't well, have saved that. They can keep that. possession of it now. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Can he make a count? Oh, fine stop. Either, like, just how do you not score the second goal yet? Chance here! And that's oh, an that's excellent piece of defending oh, to wait, thwart him. Okay, I thought we'd lost it. Now we've lost it. This attack looks highly promising. Can he open them up here? Oh my god. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Thirty minutes to go then. Aguado. Oh good vision. Well. We just cannot seem to get a second goal here. No high quality defending. And what we cannot seem to do is keep the bastard. Now counter attacking ball. possibilities Shit. here. They need to get bodies back, and that's a straightforward stop. 
well. They've created very little in the game so far. Unless they can show more guile in that top third of the field, this is going to be a really disappointing day for them. They need to improve and quickly. It's disappointing for us despite that goal. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Because we ain't playing well. Eteki giving the ball away. Rodriguez with it. Well, the fans are driving their team on here, but can they respond with a goal? Time is running out. Like, what is can he this? find the right pass? And a fine stop. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Jean-Sylvain Babin. Uh, a tiny ball. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Okay, what in the fuck? Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? Oh, Stewart, an opportunity! And a fine piece oh, of goal geez, man. which keeps the hubs alive. Well, you're right, that keeps them in it. But can they find an equaliser? They need some urgency in their play. He's had about 12 he's shots now, and he's still and not scored. This. And could that save just inspire them? They need to get the ball forward quickly here. No nonsense piece of defending. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Oh, blocked it! And play halted. Free kick given. After all that, it still did not go in. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Illegal play and hence a free what? kick. That's illegal play. And so the final whistle oh, well, here. The visitors the come out on top, Stuart. Performance. Well, Derek, it was very I mean we literally had about twelve or some shots on target. And probably quite a few off target as well and we still could not get that second goal we have finally been called up for the spanish national team oh my god finally it's taken us a while but please tell me we're at least Oh, okay, we qualified for the years. We have qualified for the years. Anyway, now. Okay, this game against whoever the fuck I didn't see. Zaragoza, we have beaten them before. Yeah, Real Zaragoza. We have beaten them before. That's the team we struggled against. Alcorcon, 20th. Ay, ay, ay. That is disappointing our cameras on one man defenders can't seem to get near him will it be more of the same today well they did in the last the fast like these game. are just what you hope for as a spectator game. a warm welcome i'm derek ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former arsenal and west ham player stuart robson and we have live segunda division action coming right up for you it's real zaragoza against okay. espanol well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. 
And the lineup for the home side. Well, a 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's a fairly standard 4 4 2, which you don't see that often, but it does have its strength, particularly with the front two they've got playing today. They're both good players. Hey, well, uh, yeah, well, uh. Well, as you can see, the visitors come into this game full of confidence in front of goal. They best attack in the league statistically. Well, away from home, their ability to create chances and score goals has been fantastic. But it's the speed of their counter-attack that's been key to their success. They've been unstoppable at times this season. Mm. Oh, yeah, unstoppable. What the fuck was that then? Tony Moya. Give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? Vallejo. Options in the center. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Free kick awarded then by the kicking the... Okay. And fired from the flank into the area. Well, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect nice. to make. What the... Oh, this is looking promising. Is this uh, the moment? Oh, my God. oh superb save. Massive credit to the much. keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. And he clears oh, the danger. Shit teams. And the referee sensibly oh, allowing them to carry on advantage with them. Team. And making sure there was no danger in the end. There we go. Chances on. Rodriguez, he's fucking missed. Well, oh my god. Bit. What a chance that was. You actually kidding me. And with that, the attack fizzles out. I genuinely cannot believe that he just fucking it. Vallejo. No advantage coming into play, and rightly so. He's going forward well here, but the danger averted for now. Someone give him an option. Manu Vallejo. Doesn't get Look away with off. it. Free kick given. And he did what he had to do defensively. Mia. Oh, good vision. And he's in the clear. Superb stop. What in the fuck? Clicking the chip shot thing, it wouldn't do it. Foul there, free kick awarded. Mm. Now the pass not finding its target. Aguado. Come He's on. in here. One nil. And a goal! Now they've broken through. One nil here. Eight on half time as well. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, let's see this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And there it is, the half time whistle. Yeah. Not doing as well as I wanted us to. So back underway like here that. into the second half. What the fuck? Making progress. 
Well, he's dicing with trouble here. Or you actually been he's not going to get sent off. Sure. So a personnel change then. And he's fired it against the post. Throws oh, my God. To the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Like we just cannot run past the defenders at all this episode. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. How the fuck? They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Did they get the throw? Tactically quite clear what they're doing. Trying to get right on top of their opponents. That's a good-looking ball. He's in position. Oh, draws, fuck. But nobody Rodriguez in the vicinity. is injured. What a block! Excellent defending. Sam has just picked up a knock. We can get more play. details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? It's going to take us a while to see how bad this injury is. Really? He's got trodden on in that last challenge. So his foot is definitely a bit sore. Cheers, Jeff. This is where he's got like a Well, as you can see from those stats, they're something. just not creating enough. They need to play at a quicker tempo, get the ball into the danger area, and get more players in the box. Make the opposition have to defend it. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. They'll dealt with that ball comfortably. Oh, no, he's fine. Is it going to be? I did not knock it forward. Why did you it knock it forward, line. you twat? So will be a throw in here. Time for a change then. Very alert defending to cut off the We're supply. actually at risk of subbing out because we can't fucking do anything. Now what can they do from here? In with a chance! Exposito. Can they keep it out? Opportunity still there. No, fuck and it. a goal! It's Just score, honestly. Front again. No he is a bad. Oh my god. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Karabets. Bakish. Well, we know they can pass the ball better than this. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Can they use their pace? Why can these cunts do it? It's got to be! And the last fucking... line of defense. Go no foul play, says the referee. The so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Just ten minutes remaining here. Strong but fair tackle. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. to win it back he scored four goals in the second the game of the last episode Moya. and in both of these Vallejo. games in this episode on the ball he Michael has Mesa. failed to score Bakish a very effective challenge put in my goodness it looked as though he was Red clean card. through Come on, fucking and the send referee, him off. what will he do here and a red card it is, denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. Well, as soon as he made the tackle, he knew the outcome. That's an easy decision for the referee. Oh, terrific free kick. And how well the keeper did to parry it. Yeah. That's it, full time. And there it is, the full time one. whistle here, and it's a victory for and the visitors. Still, well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side of not score, So.
I'm going to sorry I'm going to film no I'm not I'm going to play the international friendlies off camera um, because yeah that and that because they just get boring and yeah um, so if you guys have enjoyed please do like and subscribe if you're new see you guys in the next one Goodbye.